These days, wars are not just fought on the battlefield with tanks and combat aircraft, but on multiple fronts. Last month, the U.S. Department of Commerce's Bureau of Industry and Security banned the export to China of electronic computer-aided design ECAD software that's used for designing 3 nanometer NM chips. Last week, the U.S. government also ordered NVIDIA and AMD to stop exporting their GPU and AI chips to China and Russia. It explained to NVIDIA that its A100 and H100 chips could be used in or diverted to a military end-use or military end-user in the two countries. Some other components will need export licenses. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes why U.S. tax export curb could deal a massive blow to China. Let's get started. This video is sponsored by the free-to-play military vehicle combat game War Thunder. We talk a lot about military vehicles on this channel, but what about trying them out for yourself? In War Thunder, you can choose from more than 1,200 playable vehicles from the 1930s to the 1990s and go to battle on more than 80 theaters of war. You can fly aircraft, helicopters, drive tanks, and command ships of all types and sizes, which have been carefully recreated from their real-world counterparts. It's available as a free download on PC, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One with cross-platform support. So grab your friends and give it a try. All viewers of Defense Updates that register using the link in the description below will also get a free premium tank, aircraft, or ship and three days of premium account time as a bonus. This restriction and license requirement is the direct result of the most recent measures, which increased friction between the United States and China over cybersecurity and technology. The U.S. authorities also went ahead to state that they would also want to minimize the global proliferation of weapon-making technologies. NVIDIA stated that it would require a license to sell anything to China, Hong Kong, or Russia that's equipped with the same or greater performance than its A100 graphics processor chips. It warned that this might have an adverse impact on A100 purchasers and the progress of the more modern H100. However, AMD has said that this issue is not expected to delay product development or have a significant effect on the company's operations. Advanced Micro Devices, another American chipmaker, said that it had received additional license requirements from the U.S. Department of Commerce, which prevented the export of some of its high-end graphics processors to China and Russia. Modern weapons require chips. Chip designing and manufacturing is also a major source of revenue that provides financial leverage. The worry of the Chinese government about the U.S. tech export curb can easily be witnessed by a meeting they carried out with Washington to remove its technology export limitations. The Chinese Ministry of Commerce said that the United States was misusing export restrictions to impede the supply of semiconductors to China. It warned that trade restrictions will derail efforts to revive the global economy. This is resolutely opposed by China, as stated by a ministry spokeswoman, Xu Zhuiting. It was stated that the United States must immediately, and its harmful policies, ensure that businesses from all nations, including China, are treated fairly and do more to ensure global financial stability. The growth of China's technology is seen as a strategic danger and a possible threat to the United States industrial leadership, and U.S. authorities are becoming more concerned about this. Further, in order to prevent China from developing its own superior processors and tools, Washington is likely to tighten its regulations and pressure allies to restrict Chinese access to the best of the best. China is investing considerably in the development of its nascent manufacturers but is yet unable to build the high-end chips used in the latest smartphones and other gadgets. China's corporations would no longer be able to obtain the most cutting-edge chips from NVIDIA and AMD, meaning that their developments in high-speed computing and AI would be slowed. NVIDIA said on Wednesday that it may be forced to transfer some activities out of China. Handel Jones, founder and chief executive of International Business Strategies IBS, wrote in a report 
that the ban would have an impact on the trade between China and the U.S. greater than the combined impact of all other actions taken to date. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.